Hey, it's Tom McGivern, licensed real estate agent here again with another video. Today's video is gonna be in my home buyer toolkit and my home seller toolkit. Uh, and it's gonna be about the internet, all right? And your home shopping experience online. When you think of the internet, the first thing I wanna talk about is what do you, what's the number one word that comes to your mind when you think of the internet? All right, give you a second there to think about it and you probably said, to search for information, okay, or a library or something like that. This is where I go to get information, how-tos, Googling, things like that. Now, what if I told you that the internet uh, was the child, okay, of the parents, which was the TV and the radio? Now, what would you think? You'd probably think, okay, where are you going with this, Tom? Or you said, oh, oh yeah, it's for advertising. Oh my goodness, right? Because that's what it is. The internet has been transformed from what it was when it first came out, which was information, things like that, how to communicate, right? Email, things like that, to an advertising platform, a massive advertising platform. The only difference is with the television and the radio, they those mediums couldn't really reach in and grab your information. However, now the internet can. So having said that, let's talk about real estate and your online shopping home uh, experience. You're online, you're looking, you go to these websites. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna name any by name, but what they are is they're not, uh, most of them, many of them are not listing homes. They don't sell homes, they don't have real estate agents that sell homes, but they have real estate agents on them and they have listings on them, okay? Uh, and forget about the whole argument of sometimes when they're not accurate and all that stuff. This isn't a case of for or against online home shopping, okay? It uh, doesn't matter, you do what you wanna do, but I want you to know that when you're on there, a lot of these websites are aggregators, okay? They collect information and data. They have great technology. And, and if you look at it as a great service, right? Because, they, wow, they're providing all this information. That's one thing. However, you do need to know that they only exist to acquire three things from you, okay? One, your name. Two, your cell phone or your, your phone number. And your email, okay? And... What they do with that information is now they take it and they provide it to real estate agents and real estate brokerages. What does that mean, Tom? Okay, what's the big deal? Okay, so so what? You're online. The fact that you don't really realize the relationship you're having with this website, again, this website doesn't list anything, it doesn't sell anything, it only has information, but they're taking your information once you say, oh wow, I wonder what, something about this property and you click on an agent or a, a form to fill out and it sends it out, okay? And the next thing you know, you're being contacted by a real estate agent. Now, and that happens in all different in all different ways, okay? The website might call you and they are, they're, they're gonna you know, ask you a few questions and then they're gonna send you over to an agent. They're gonna say, okay, I have so-and-so on the line and the next thing you know, you're speaking to an, a real estate agent. Meanwhile, you're not even really thinking about buying, you just had one simple question. Whatever the situation is, I'm trying to make you aware that now that aggregator becomes the middle middleman. And what do I mean by that? As a real estate broker, I am the middle person. I am between the buyer and the seller or the landlord and the tenant. And my job is I'm in the trenches. We're in the trenches, real estate agents. You are trying to you know, get information or buy something. We help to make that happen, all right, for everybody. Now, this other website, this aggregated website, once you gave them your name, your phone number, and your email, becomes the middle middleman because now I'm the real estate agent. They charge me for that information. Now, some ways they could charge me by a referral fee, okay, which means they are a broker, but they're not really listing their own properties. They're just using other people's, other companies' uh, uh, listings, and then they're just connecting the buyer, right, through their use of technology. They're really an aggregator. And then they're just saying, hey, here you go. Do you want this? Do you want to speak to Sally Joe who's on the phone right now? Okay, and then they, you say yes and they send you the information. Then they turn around, they charge you or me, the real estate agent, a referral fee. Now, there's that going on. And at the same time, other websites charge monthly fees, sometimes as much as five to $6,000 a month for a real estate agent to receive online prospects, right? Uh, uh, online relationships. These, you know, us, we as real estate agents, we're trying to create relationships with folks so we can help them out. And that helps our business. That's how we get paid, right? By providing a service. So why am I telling you this? I'm not telling you this because I'm a forward or against it. I'm simply trying to let you know that next time you're on one of these websites, before you click that 
Lynn can say, hey, give me more information. Meanwhile, you're a year out. Or you're, you're not even thinking about buying. You're just like, oh, I'm browsing. I want some more information about this house. It's not about information. They're advertising. They're going to use your email, your phone number, and your name, right, to give that to a real estate agent and then charge that real estate agent for that information, all right? And lastly, a lot of times real estate agents, don't, we're not even aware of um, the house that you're calling on because we're not a listing agent. We're just there as a service to try and get you that information. So you may have a basic question that that real estate agent you might find out, they might be in the car, they might be uh, you know, at like a party, and, but they answer their phone and then the next thing you know, you're speaking to them or uh, something like that. And they don't even know what's going on. They have to get back to you, all right? So keep all this in mind next time you're on these aggregator websites that don't list or sell any properties. They don't have any real estate agents. They're charging the real estate agents for the information and want you to be aware of that. And if this video, you like this video, you know, subscribe or there's two buttons here, a subscribe button or a uh, the next video, just watch the content. Please like and comment. And I thank you so very much. If you wanted to contact me for a market analysis uh, on a, and a, any virtual appointments right now, my number is 631-831-9048. Thanks a lot. Again, subscribe and like the next video. Appreciate that. Take care.